Hey, Doug from Unscript here, and in this video, I'd like to walk through configuring a action and the inputs and outputs of that action. So we're just going to use this AWS action here as our blueprint. We're going to go to configuration, and I guess I put my face in the wrong spot. Move that to right there. Um, so for our configurations, the first thing we need to do is set our credential so that we can connect to AWS, and that's already set. The other thing is we need an input. And so I, in a previous video I just did, I put in print in quotes, because it's a variable, you, or a, a string, US West 2. And then if I apply these changes and I run this, it's going to give me a list of all the EC2 instances in US West 2. That's really cool. Other things we can do. We could set a parameter that's an input to this entire runbook. And so we could add a parameter here. We could call it input boolean. And we'll give it a default value of US. Let's just do East 1 just so that we have something fun and different. We get a different result. Um, input AWS region, just a description. OK, so we'll move my face over here. We'll call it input region. And it doesn't want the quotes here just want this a string and it knows it's a string save all right so now if I do this and the default region is now US East 1 if I say instead of putting a string here I can just say input region and it knows the variable is coming from that input parameter so I can click this and there are no region or no instances in um, US East 1 other things we can do, we could create some variables. So here's an action I created, and I've got the one region right here. So I could say just use one region. And so I've run this. So one region is a variable with the value US West 2. I can run that. And I get the list of all the instances in US West 2. Now look at this. I've got a list of regions, and it's two of them, right? This two that we've been talking about. How can I do that? Now I could go into the code here and build a for loop, you know, for each region in region list, but we have an iterator. So let's look at this iterator. What you can do is we can say um, for each, for the loop parameter region, loop it across region list. And we'll apply that, and then we run it. And this now has run through, serially ran through this action twice, once for US West 2 and once for US East 1. And you'll notice now it's not publishing the results because you know this could be really, really large. I mean, you could iterate over all 26 regions if you wanted to in this case, or you could have 47 log files that you're iterating through, and we don't want to put that all here. So it just says that, yes, it worked, yes, it worked. But what if we wanted to see it? Well, another thing that's set up into... Uh, in your inputs and you can set an output. And so in this case, we can set the output to, I guess, list or uh, read uh, instance output. Naming things is hard. All right, so we do this. Now we have to run it to assign this. So what happens here is the output of this action is going to be saved in this variable. So I have to run it again to get that saved in the variable. So it ran. And now we can take this variable and we can print the output. So I just have a Lego here, uh, an action here ready to go. And I'm just going to have it print instance output. And there it is. There's US West 2 with all of its instances. And you can see US East 1 is empty. So. In this video, we've talked about uh, how we can configure the inputs. We can iterate over a list. And so in this case, the list is just this list here. It could be a longer list. It could be dynamically created. However, you can iterate through that over a specific parameter of the inputs. If we disable that, we can use in our input here, we can use a string or we can use a variable. And so by using a string, you put it in quotes. If you're using a variable, you just type in the variable name and it'll run. Um, and then you can save the output in a variable name so that it can be used in future actions.
Thanks for watching this video, and we're going to talk about the start condition in our next video.